Hello everyone. Uh, so I was there at the Wings India 2024 in uh, Hyderabad yesterday. So um, actually there was a huge crowd yesterday. It was a public day and uh, the show started on the 18th of this month and was till yesterday which was 21st. And uh, it was so crowded yesterday and they had some uh, major uh, aircrafts uh, on display like the Air India's latest A350-900 uh, which is registered as uh, Victor Tango Juliet Romeo Alpha. So this aircraft was there and also the Boeing had displayed their uh, latest aircraft the 777X. So uh, both these aircrafts were uh, very much interesting and uh, I was like fascinated to see both of them right next to each other in India for the first time. So as you can see the uh, Air India A350 was ready to depart after the show and uh, it was leaving to Bangalore because uh, from today onwards that is the 22nd onwards uh, the 350 is starting its commercial operations uh, by doing some of the domestic routes in India so uh, that's away from the captain uh, before leaving. The aircraft is so beautiful, the, uh, the shape of it, the size of it, uh, the livery, actually first of all I thought the livery, the new livery of Air India is not much great when I saw the first pictures of it but on the plane it's amazing, uh, you have to see it in real to get the actual feel of that livery. Uh, so it was very beautiful and the plane is looking amazing and the style of the plane delivery everything is looking great So there you can see the uh, Boeing 777X also, uh, they were also ready to depart right behind the Air India. So we have captured the videos of both the A350 departing and also the 777X departing behind it. So the first departure of the 777X from the Indian soil so that we have captured uh, even though it was a little dark. Uh, but we have caught the video of the 777X also departing behind the 350. So the Air India A350 taxiing out, it was beautiful to see the visuals in the uh, sunset time. There was a King Air Beechcraft aircraft which was about to land on uh, the runway in Bacon Pit. So the 350 had to wait a little bit on the holding point for the Beechcraft to clear the runway. And uh, it was a scene to watch because you can actually feel the size difference between the Beechcraft and also the A350-900. So the 777X also started its pushback right behind the Air India. Uh, you can see the GE9X engines, uh, the most powerful engines for a commercial aircraft ever built in the history. The 777X, uh, the plane was massive, 
and uh, the looks everything the massive size of it was overwhelming and uh, it was so nice to see right next to the 350 buck right next to the 350 even though in a style perspective i like the 350 a little more but the 777x was like catching the eyes of everyone who was standing right there So this aircraft uh, was uh, registered November 779 X-ray whiskey uh, which is a three year old aircraft uh, which is doing the test and the certifications for the 777X. I hope you are able to get the actual uh, views and the massiveness of this 777X like in the way I was able to see it from there I hope I have covered the exact view of what I was getting over there So there you can see the iconic 777's folding wingtips. I wanted to cover the wingtips getting extended but unluckily I could say it was just an event of like less than 5 seconds and that portion in the video was not focused properly so I am not including that in the video. Right before entering into the runway they have uh, extended the folded wingtips. And uh, here you can see the A350 of the Air India departing uh, to Bangalore. And uh, we'll be entering the commercial services from uh, 22nd onwards. So it was a beautiful scene to watch. And uh, it felt like it was a very silent takeoff for the A350. I think in terms of the sounds, the Rolls-Royce Trent engines are very nice. The sound is very less, I felt. So this is exactly where I missed the extension of the folded wingtips. So there you go, the first departure of the 777X from the Indian soil.
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग आई सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम बाय बाय